North Korea's recent steps to dismantle its nuclear weapons program were hailed by President Bush. But to hear him tell it, progress for peace with North Korea may hinge on this child's face as well. The United States will never forget the abduction of Japanese citizens by the North Koreans. Her name is Megumi Yokota. 31 years ago, this bright-eyed girl who loved hanging from jungle gyms and mugging for the camera disappeared walking home from school. She was 13. North Korean agents kidnapped Megumi and 12 other Japanese citizens to help teach spies Japanese customs. We're talking about children being snatched off the streets and beaches of Japan. Patty Kim's documentary tells this astonishing tale. You could describe Japan's abduction issue, as it's known in Japan, as, as Japan's 9-11. For 25 years, the families lived with the heart-wrenching mystery of what happened to their kids until North Korea's dictator, Kim Jong-il, face to face with Japan's prime minister, admitted to the kidnappings. Five of the 13 victims would be returned after decades in captivity. Megami wasn't one of them. The North Koreans said she had committed suicide at the age of 29. But when the remains they provided didn't match her DNA, Megami became a powerful symbol of Japan's national mistrust of North Korea. The story of the Japanese abductions and the nuclear talks are inextricably intertwined. Mr. Bush is well aware that mistrust threatens any deal with North Korea. He must have Japan on board. I have just had uh, one of the most uh, moving uh, meetings uh, since I've been the president. But Oval Office promises to Megumi's mother two years ago that the families would get answers ring hollow here. Strong emotions, just what you'd expect when negotiations with an enemy move center stage and such an uncommonly haunting face frames the issues. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Hokkaido, Japan.